This is a this is a little amendment to the bill, which is the Industries Development and Regulation Amendment Bill 2015. And the bill which is being presented here today is as was passed by the Lok Sabha. So I'm glad the members who participated in the discussion have really gone through the details of the uh, bill. Very quickly, I would recall that this is something which the Supreme Court had broadly indicated in its judgment in 97. And since then, different at different times, different action had been taken, taken up. However, because there were some cases which were uh, pending, actually speaking, since 2008, this has gone through a lot of waiting. 2012, there was a cabinet note circulated, opinions were gathered from different ministries. However, the, the bill couldn't be placed in time. As a result, as soon as this government came in, we picked it up because this is a matter which has been uh, considered by the cabinet and uh, the cabinet had moved a note and instruction had been, the judgment had come from the Supreme Court. It was necessary for us to act and therefore in 2014 onwards we have started working and it was uh, placed in the Lok Sabha in 15 and it was duly passed. Very quickly what it does is to just amend entry 26 in the first schedule of this act from what it read as fermentation industries to to now read as fermentation industries in bracket other than portable alcohol. It is this amendment which has now become necessary and uh, uh, a few uh, responses may be just in time and uh, appropriate because members have raised certain issues which I would certainly like to respond. Um, Honourable Member Bhaskar Rapolu had raised this issue of we should keep in mind litigations which might come in the future. I just want to draw his attention to um, the act itself, the bill which has been placed before this house, wherein under number 2 there is 29.3. That entire paragraph has been inserted only to keep in mind any possibility of a future uh, litigation that might arise, which is a very legitimate point that the member has raised, and I'm not sure I need to spend time of this valuable house reading that past paragraph, but that is, uh, that's what I'm saying. 29E, which is there, definitely does take care of that concern which you have raised. Uh, then, uh, Mr. Ramakrishna, an honourable member. Uh, spoke and I'm glad he said uh, I'm grateful also Mr. Uh, Rapolu did support the bill I'm very grateful to him and as did Mr. Ramakrishnan but he said whilst the amendment is simple there is a larger issue that he would want to address I certainly would want to uh, answer as much as I can in that matter central exercise excise duty governs all industries but in alcohol industry alone this power is with the states and that is leading to a lot of uh, uh, you know, ambiguity, I would want to draw his attention to the fact that during the consultation which happened, the Department of Revenue had given its viewpoint on it and I just want to assure the member here that the input which has come from Department of Revenue duly under, uh, addresses his concern. I just would want to read that line which has been given uh, from the Finance Ministry in its note, in responding to the note, it says, this expression portable alcohol is not familiar to the revenue. It is the excise department uses its nomenclature while taxing when uh, imposing excise duty. As a result, does portable alcohol get taxed under the state? Does the center not have an excise duty? All this gets covered under the very way the excise department has responded, saying portable, non-portable, other than portable are not expressions that they use. They look at levying central excise duty on ethyl alcohol and other spirits denatured of any strength. 
So for them, it doesn't matter whether you're talking about portable or non-portable. They only go looking at that particular description. And therefore, um, I suppose member Ramakrishnan uh, should have a clarity now that uh, this has been further explained. I'm also grateful to the BJD member Bupender Singh Ji, uh, who supported this amendment. I, I too, uh, fully take his point that uh, cooperative federalism can better work with greater execution, better execution of many of these acts. With these, I suppose I've addressed the questions okay. and concerns okay. raised by honorable members. Yes. I Written by Mr. Michel, stating that Ms. Sonia Gandhi is the main... Yes. 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 Yes.